So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this interesting question which was asked by Kernel who is one of our active subscribers on YouTube. Now this question has some elements to it which I feel will be beneficial to the entire community and so I just wanted to go ahead and solve it so that everyone could benefit. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa. And if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations tips, tricks and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right to the question. The question says a female patient weighs 79 kilograms and amoxicillin 4 milligrams per kilogram IV administered over 30 minutes is ordered once every 24 hours for 10 days. Amoxicillin powder for injection is available in 250 mg vials. The 250 mg vial is diluted with 5 ml 0.9% sodium chloride solution. If the patient's dose is diluted in 50 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride solution, what is the administration rate in milliliters per hour? So let's go ahead and unpack the question. There are a few elements that we want to have really clear before we actually start putting down a solution. The first thing we need to identify is what type of question this is. Now, because it says administration rate and it gives you the units milliliters per hour, then this would highly suggest that this is a flow rate type of a question. So we are going to end up with some kind of a rate term, which means per hour, anything per time is rate. So now we have a flow rate because it's milliliters per hour. Now, the first thing that we need to actually do is determine the amount of amoxicillin that the patient receives. So from the question, we've been given the normalized dose, which is four milligrams per kilogram. And what that means is depending on the patient's weight, each patient will have a different amount of drug. So here the patient weighs 79 kilograms and so we're going to use the 79 kilograms in conjunction with the normalized dose to determine exactly how much drug or how much amoxicillin that this patient would receive. And then once we've determined that we need to transform that into a volume quantity and we're going to make use of this phrase right here which says 250 milligrams of the vial is diluted with 5 milliliters of 0.9% sodium chloride solution. So this information will give us enough to be able to determine what the volume is and then we can make use of the time as well. So those are the steps we'll go through but let's see how exactly that will play out once we begin to determine the solution. So first of all, let's find out how much amoxicillin this patient actually gets. We start off with the normalized dose, which is four milligram per kg, and the patient weighs 79 kilograms. So the kilograms can cancel out, and this gives us 316 milligrams. So this patient would get 316 milligrams of amoxicillin. That's what we need to give the patient. Now, how much volume would actually give that amount of drug? And that's based on the reconstituted powder because amoxicillin comes as a dry powder for injection and so you need to reconstitute that so that you can get it to true solution before you can give it to the patient so we're given some guidance here you have 250 milligrams of powder and you need to dilute it down with five milliliters of solution which implies that we have 250 milligrams in every five milliliters so what exactly would we need if we needed to supply 316 milligrams of amoxicillin? So that's the volume that we need to find. So now we can go ahead and solve for X, which is our unknown. So X equals 5 milliliters times 316 milligrams divided by 250 milligrams. And that is equal to 6.32 milliliters. So that's the volume of the reconstituted amoxicillin that would actually need to provide the 316 milligram of drug. Now, this volume is going to be put into this 50 ml. So the 50 ml is a small volume parenteral and this amount of drug, which is the 6.32 ml, which contains the 316 milligrams of amoxicillin is going to be injected into this bag. And then the whole thing is going to be run into the patient. So what we now need is the total volume that is going to be administered. So the total volume is going to be equal to the volume in the small volume parenteral, which is the 50 ml, 
together with this volume that we just calculated, which is the 6.32 milliliters. So this would give a total of 56.32 milliliters. And now we can determine the flow rate. So flow rate is volume per time. So we can go ahead and determine the flow rate here. And flow rate is going to be equal to the volume that we just calculated, which is the 56.32 milliliters divided by the time. So here the time is 30 minutes. But notice that the question is asking for milliliters per hour. So we need to go ahead and convert the minutes to hours. So we will take the 56.32 milliliters divided by 30 minutes and make use of the conversion factor that 60 minutes make one hour. And so the minutes will cancel out and we'll end up with 112.64 milliliters per hour. Now, if you need a more thorough review on flow rate calculations, I'll put several links to videos in the description and I'll link it in the cards as well. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.